Well, caught on surveillance video, a man steals a guitar worth more than $2,000 from a popular Catonsville music store. Dennis Valera is on your corner. He spoke with the owners who say they just want this man found. We saw it happening as it, as it happened. It happened within minutes Saturday afternoon. After walking in, this man can be seen looking around Bill's Music's electric guitar selection. Other customers also are around. He slowly makes his way toward another man testing out a guitar and takes the other guitar by him. He got out of the store fast. It's almost shocking. You're in disbelief that somebody would be just that brazen to just run out the way they do. But some people get a little bit desperate and they just determine that. Brian Higgins is Bill's general manager. He says while things get stolen from time to time, it's never been this bold. He adds they'll be okay financially, but it just hurts it happened at all. We have cameras all over the place. We have everything under lock and key. But when it happens, it's, it's like a punch in the stomach a little bit. Higgins says by the time the robber grabbed the guitar from here and walked out the door, he was caught on six different cameras. Some of the store's staff followed the robber outside, finding he had a getaway car waiting. They managed to take this picture. Bills posted about the robbery on Facebook. Higgins says it'd be nice to get the guitar back, but they really just want him caught. Frankly, it's more important to get the fella or get the guy so this doesn't happen to anybody else. And if we get our guitar back, that's great, but that's in a way secondary to us as much as we'd love to see it. A police report has been filed, but Higgins says the robber is free to call the store. The best thing you could do is give us a call. You know, give us a call, bring the guitar back, whatever issues you may have, you know, hopefully we can help deal with. You can call Baltimore County Police if you know who this is. Reporting in Catonsville, I'm Dennis Valera for WJZ.